welcome to this tech tip where we're going to discuss and demonstrate the new Exalta Plastic Polyolefin Adhesion Promoter 300. Now there is a specific process for this adhesion promoter and that's applied in a one and a half coat process. It might be a little bit different than what you're used to with adhesion promoters, but this one it is required. So let's think about that one and a half coat process that's specific to this product. According to the TDS, the recommended dry film thickness of the adhesion promoter is 0.15 mils. Yes, it's not a lot of material. So over applying is going to be a concern. If you're used to one and a half coats with your clear coats, you're not going to do it the same way with the adhesion promoter. Typically with clear coats, you're at 1.8 to 2.2 mils after it's all said and done. But remember, this one is 0.15 mils. Night and day, it's totally different. So if we're trying to achieve that 0.15 mils with our adhesion promoter, let's talk about the actual application process. So the first coat, when you apply it, it's gonna be applied in an open tack coat fashion, which means it's almost a, a dusting over the entire plastic part. We're gonna see that demonstrated in the booth in just a moment. So that tack coat is the first thing we do. If you over apply that first coat, your surface will look like there's fish eyes or some type of defect there, but it's really not. It's just the over application and it just moves around and it's no good. So first coat, tack coat over the entire plastic part. Then you're gonna follow that up with your next coat where it's gonna be a light closed coat, bringing everything together. Once you apply that one and a half coat, the appropriate flash time, before you apply your undercoat, and then after your undercoat is done, you can base and clear and be finished with that plastic part. Some things to think about with that application of one and a half coats is your gun distance. You may have to adjust that depending on the style of painter that you are. And also, when applying this coating or any coating for that matter, we want 70% or better on your overlaps. So it may take a little bit of adjusting, and that's okay. But the key is not to overwet that surface, especially on that first coat, because it will have a tendency to look like there's fish eyes or defects there before you start putting your undercoat on. So again, thin, closed coat over the entire surface of that plastic part with that one and a half coat. So now that we discussed it, went over the technique, how we need to apply it, Let's go take a look at it being applied in the booth. 